Let's take a look at how we populate a repeater container using JavaScript. Um, you can also populate it, by the way, using data views. That's covered in the integration section in the Learning Center. But this video is just going to concentrate on populating this one, as we can see here, using JavaScript. Now, the, the, uh, the typical case would that you'd be calling uh, a web service API, for example, with the app.http request method, uh, and populate then from the resulting data array, JSON array. In this example, we're going to make it a bit simpler and uh, easier to visualize by using uh, a manually created array. So let's uh, command D across into the code editor. And here we can see right at the top, what, what I'm doing here is creating an array. Um, and this array really can be any format you like. It doesn't have to conform to a particular array structure. That's one of the beauties about the populate widget command. The way that we solve this is by using the map object. And the map object simply maps from our data array into a widget. So uh, if we look here, we've got LBL item, LBL price, and end total. Let's go back to the um, UI mode. And if we select our repeater container here, I'm going to put the uh, outline on so we can see the components better. Here's the inner container. And there you can see we've got, um, let's just scroll to the top here, we've got LBL item, LBL price, and total num quantity. So back in the code, there's LBL price, LBL uh, item, and end total. So those are the widgets, and each one of those is mapped to an array element. So item, price, and total, which you'll find up in here, item, price, and total. Then the populate widget command is very simple. We specify the name of the widget that we want to populate. This works also with uh, other um, list widgets. All the list widgets can be populated in the same way. The second parameter is the actual array. So what we're pointing to here is the sort of the, the, the base position within the array. Uh, so row items, then menu items. And then we're telling it where the, uh, the map object is located. Um, if you want to look at more uh, or different examples of data arrays, then actually the other Learning Center video uh, talking about populating list widgets with um, from JavaScript covers that. And there we, you just see some, some variations on this theme. 